Hello, this is Christy. In today's video, we will look at how you can save multiple files, multiple export files from a single project all at once, all automatically in Camtasia. So I have a blank project here. I'm going to just demonstrate using some simple ideas. So I have a few pictures. I'm going to just drag a few pictures here onto my media bin and maybe uh, a song, it doesn't matter. So let's say that I want to create, uh, maybe these pictures are not pictures, maybe they are video clips. And I want to save, I want to edit an entire project and then I want to save every, let's say chapter or section of that video as a different file. So how do you do that? Well, let me just put all of these pictures on my timeline just to start. Maybe leave some space between them. So I have four files, four graphics. I'm going to just make them all stick to each other like that and uh, give them a bit of room. OK, so I'm, I'm going to be fast and loose with this. Let's say maybe you want to make all the videos the same length. That is up to you and your project. but. I'm going to just change my canvas size because it's been changed to match the size of the first picture I dropped. This is annoying. I don't know why Camtasia is doing this. And I'm just going to make these pictures fill the uh, canvas just so they look nice. OK. Here we go. So I'm going to just drag my song onto the timeline and I'm going to make the song stop at the end there. So there we go. So I have now four, four clips and uh, or pictures and I'm going to make me add some transitions to them. It doesn't really matter, but just for example, sake. OK, fade out, fade out and the audio effects. Let's fade the song out as well at both ends. Now, so we want to produce from this project, we want to produce four video clips on disk using each one of these tracks. They don't have to stop here or, you know, you can have a, a video kind of stop here in the middle of the clip. It doesn't matter, but just to illustrate. Um, so the, very easy to do this. Um, if you place your, uh, your cursor or you add a marker in between. So you just you just move your cursor here like that and you let it snap to where the clips end. Let's zoom in a bit. So you can see here, this is a transition between the two pictures. OK, so maybe that's if you want them to stay on their own, you don't want to have the fade. So I mistakenly put a fade transition here. What happens is if your clip stops here, then you're going to see part of the next clip in the fade out instead of being completely dark. So what you actually want is a fade through black transition. Let's replace that here. So let look at that. It's dark and then it's light. So when the two clips meet exactly, it is completely dark. Let's do the same with the song so that the song fades out. So I'm going to click on the song. You see the volume selection line here, volume adjustment. I'm going to double click where the marker is or where we, where it will be. So I'm going to create a marker here later. And let's say I want a, a fade in a here and a fade out here. And I'm just going to click on the middle point and pull it all the way down to zero. So down, now my song also fades. Let's hear it. OK, it might be a bit short. So I'm just going to move this uh, and space it out a bit so that we have a longer sound fade. OK, so you can see this is the point where the two clips meet. So we want to do the same for the next the next uh, clip. So I want to replace the transition here, fade through black and double click on this. So I'm just doing this to um, illustrate. So OK, double click here and double click here, fade out the meeting point. Here we go. And if you want to make your transition longer, you can just pull the sides like this. So let's see it. OK, great, it's working. And now um, I'm not going to do the other two, so just don't worry about them now. So this is the tricky part. You go to the place where the clips meet and you let your playhead snap. And then 
as you hover your mouse over the timeline here, you can see this blue, not, not, not where the numbers are, but down here, this is the marker track. If you don't see it, you can open it from here, marker or quiz, control M. So you can see the marker track has this blue cursor thingy. So you place your mouse where the playhead is and you click to create a marker. You go here as well, or you can actually just, you don't actually have to place your playhead if you if you can make it snap but I find it's easier to just let the playhead snap and then my marker will snap to the playhead and click again move the marker here click and here we go so we have we have uh, one two three four clips and three markers plus the start okay so we have created the points where the clips will be cut. So this is where the clips will be cut and saved. And you don't have to save them individually. All you have to do is just go to the share menu, export to local file or whatever custom production you've set, local file, and then just use your custom production and click next and choose your format, click next. And here on this uh, smart player options, um, screen you go to video settings and you enable multiple files based on markers click on that and now click next and next again and here is the final table of contents in quotes screen where it shows you all of the markers that are going to be exported and the introduction which would be the first marker we don't have a marker there but obviously it's going to export the introduction as well and you can actually take um, take off some of them if you don't want them to be exported I'm going to leave all of them now and um, this is what is telling Camtasia how many clips to create and where and click next and then you choose your location where you save your clips give them a name and if you give the name here, let's say slides, these are the files that are going to be produced. So it's going to be slide zero, one, two, three, and so on. So they will be numbered in the order of these markers. So now all you have to do is just click finish and let Camtasia create the files. And when it's done, I'm going to show you what it produced. Okay, this is what Camtasia produced, four video files with the four markers and the numbers. So let's see what they do. Okay, you see it, it's fade out the song it faded out the picture and let's see the second one it fades in and of course at the end it fades out so all of these clips are perfectly exported so see this one we didn't do the fade to black so we can see parts of the next clip so that's not good but you get the idea you can export multiple clips from the same project just using the markers you place on your timeline and don't forget when you export to select the tick box to save different files for every markers so thank you for watching i hope this was useful uh, sorry it was a bit long um, if you enjoy my tutorials please subscribe to my channel and see you next time <music>